Hey, welcome back everyone. So, uh, in last tutorial, I kind of went a little too quickly, and somebody in the comments made me realize that uh, I had unfortunately uh, forgotten to specify how to remove the uh, cursor during the cutscene. Um, I kind of didn't realize it more or less because the, the, the whole room here that I was using is white, so it's kind of hard to see sometimes. So just to uh, give you guys a little show, see right here, this cursor is still present. It's a little hard to see, but you can see it when it goes through like darker areas. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go in and actually go about showing you guys. I have a few ways of actually fixing this. Uh, one way, which is Hello Neighbor only. And then another way that I'll show you guys that you'll be able to actually use in your other projects. So um, well, let's start with the first one. Uh, so if we open up the uh, trigger that we were using uh, from uh, the previous tutorial, the BP My Trigger cutscenes. So just open that up, double click it. And then inside here, where right after the trigger, on the cast to human to BP human, pull off of here, and we're gonna get something called cursor. So get cursor, and then set oops, set visibility. Okay. Now this unfortunately will only work in Hello Neighbor mod kit. Sorry, because of and I'll show you guys in a second. So all you got to do is connect the set visibility between the play and uh, the custom event that we did. So this one here, whatever you called it, I called it uh, play sequencer, yay. So just hook it up between those two. And in this section here, is invisibility, just put hidden. All right. Uh, the only reason, though, why this would does work is because inside of the BP human we have the cursor that's being created it's being set into a variable and then being added but this variable here is actually being used over here as set visibility in a function so with that we can actually use this function and change its visibility so just to give you a little a little show uh, so see, I have my cursor, and if I walk in, technically, you kind of, it's hard to see, I know, but it's not there, and I'll just let it go its course, just so I can show you guys, because I haven't reactivated it. So, at this point, the cursor will remain, see, there is, there is nothing, I have no cursor here. So, now, to put it back, we're going to scroll down here, and in this section, uh, there's another BP human. All you got to do is pull off. And we're going to go down to where our enable section is to put back the, uh, the control as well as the visibility of the player. And then right here, we are going to get cursor, just like before. Pull it a little under, and then set visibility, just like before. Same thing. The only thing is you're going to leave it at visible. So now when we press play, I have my cursor and now the cursor is not present. And let's let it run its course. Should have maybe done a smaller uh, cinematic. <laughs> but there you go. And now I have my cursor back. So that's a way of doing it in the Hello Neighbor uh, mod kit. Now, if you're going to be trying to do this in another project, like I said, you won't have this set up. Unless you set it up yourself, this won't be here. So um, I'm just going to go out and remove the last two things that we did. So these two here. And show you how to do it if you were in your own project now. So in your own, you would want to get all widget of class. So get all widgets of class. Select the widget that you want to hide. 
that you want to affect, basically. So our, ours is the BP curse, cursor. So if we go and look, BP cursor, and it's this just the dot. So that's exactly what we want. We want this guy. So this guy, this node is going to get every single widget BP underscore cursor that's in the game. And then f we're going to want to for each. So we're going to make a for each loop. So for each one of these widgets that's present inside of the game, then we're going to remove from parent. All right, connect these. Make sure the executes are connected and the arrays are connected, as well as the target to array element and loop body to the execute of remove my from parent. Then just connect these two up. And now you have a way of removing widgets in any of your projects now. This will work anywhere. And all you got to do is if you want to bring it back, well, just like here, we just have to recreate it and re-add it at the end of our cinematic, which is right here. We are re-enabling the controller and re-setting uh, the visibility of the player. So create widget, the BP cursor, and then from the return value, add to viewport. And that's it. It's as simple as that. You'll now have a complete cutscene making asset thing. Not making, but play or an actor to play your uh, your your cutscenes, which will remove any of the uh, the debug of uh, the uh, the uh, widgets that are on screen. Now, if you wanted to, um, you could. There's also a cool little node called remove. Uh, all widgets but again if you do this well then this will be good say if you have your other projects and you only have like one master widget and you want to remove that one if they're all connected to one well then you can just like remove all widgets and then re-enable that one so it's a quick quick little node but uh, for hello neighbor uh, there are three widgets that are being created and two of them that are being added to the viewport. So the inventory, the bear trap one, so when you actually get caught in the bear trap, and uh, the cursor. So um, that's really it. You guys don't really need this, but it's a cool little one to know uh, if ever you have other, uh, other projects or whatnot. Or if you just want to remove the the inventory, why not? So I'm going to leave you guys at that. Uh, do apologize for the quick uh, tutorial yesterday that I left out. But do thank you guys for catching my mistake. And if you guys find any other mistakes as well, don't, uh, don't hesitate to leave the, the mistake in the comments. And I'll try and quickly update uh, the next for the next uh, tutorial just to make sure everybody uh, has all the right information. So, I'm going to leave you guys at that. I uh, hope you, uh, I hope this benefited, and uh, I'll see you guys in the uh, next tour.